So in this video lecture, we are going to discuss about how to calculate limits of the intermediate forms 0 times infinity or infinity times 0. So we'll start by this example here. So a uh, solution here. So note that these are limit of two functions. So we have limit as x approaches 0 from the right. It's like we have, if you remember what you did on the properties of limits, if you have limit as x approaches a of two functions multiplied together, you can write it as limit as x approaches a of the first function times the limit as x approaches a of the second function. So for our case, we have limit as x approaches 0 from the right. So the same as limit as x approaches 0 from the right of 0 times limit as x approaches 0 from the right of ln of x. So you see that, ah, so this is This is x. So limit as x approaches x approaches zero from the right of x is zero, but this limit as x approaches zero of ln of x is infinity. So therefore. This is the intermediate form that we have. And then remember for us to apply El Hotel rule, then we need to have a function f divided by a function g. So therefore now, we need to retransform our limit functions in the form f of x over g of x. So possibly by rewriting them in this form, maybe if we get if we get the case of infinity over infinity or zero over zero, then that is when we'll be able to evaluate by the hostel rule. So we uh, uh, this is the limit as zero approach as x approaches zero. as x approaches 0 from the right of x, ln of x. See that this can be written as limit as x approaches 0 from the right of, so one, this is how we can write this same same function, ln of x over 1 over x. There's nothing that I've changed, it's still the same same function. So that now, when you simplify this part here, you get the same same x ln of x. So this one uh, is in the form like that now, this is my f of x, and then this one over x is my g of x. So that I have a numerator and then I have a denominator. And now by writing it in this form, it allows me now to test whether I can get the case of 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity. So lim ln of 0 over 1, over zero, replacing x for zero. This will give me infinity. One over zero is also infinity. So therefore now I have the correct form that can allow me to apply El Hospital's rule. So at this point now I apply El Hospital rule. So uh, therefore we can now apply El Hospital's rule because we have the case of infinity over infinity. So I'll have limit as x approaches 0 from the right of x ln of x equals to limit as x approaches 0 from the right of ln of x over 1 of x. We get the same thing as limit as x approaches 0 from the right of ln of x over x is for negative 1. 
Now we differentiate differently, so we'll have limit as x approaches zero from the right. The relative of ln of x is one over x. When you differentiate this one, I get negative x raised power minus two. Now remember, I have, so this I have one over x divided by minus x raised power minus three, the same as one over x divided by minus one over x squared, which is the same thing as one over x divided by times x squared over one. Negative, so I have, this will give me negative x. So that will be the value for this uh, when I uh, divide the two. So I have limit as x approaches zero from the right of x, ln of x is nothing but limit as x approaches zero from the right of negative x. But this one by direct substitution, I have zero times negative one is just zero. So therefore the limit is zero. This becomes the answer to that given limit. Another example, limit as x approaches infinity of x sine of one over x. If you uh, remember this can be written as, so solution, limit as x approaches infinity of x sine of one over x is the same as limit as x approaches infinity of x times limit as x approaches infinity of sine of one over x. So these are just properties of limits. Now clearly limit as x approaches infinity of this one will give us infinity. Limit as x approaches infinity of sine of one over x. One of a very big number is roughly zero. Sine of zero is zero. So we have the form infinity times zero. But for us to apply L Hospital rule, we need infinity over infinity or zero over zero. So therefore, we try to rewrite this one as a fraction. This is how we achieve this. We, saw, we write this one as. Uh, so we can say let. H to be one over X. That's what you can say. So then when you let h to be one over x, so this means that one uh, x and x itself is the same as one over h. And then as x approaches infinity, h approaches what? So when this one becomes a very big number, one over a very big number is roughly zero. So h approaches zero. So therefore we change all our limit to be in terms of h, not x. So where this x we replace by one over h, where this h, uh, where this one over x we replace by h. So the limit will be limit as now h approaches zero. Now remember it will be positive. And then where this x you put one over h, then sine of one over x is h. So this is now the new transformed limit, which will be the same as limit as h approaches zero from the right of sine of h over h. And if you try to do direct substitution, so we say sine of zero over zero is zero over zero. So therefore, this is a zero over zero case and L hospital rule can be applied. So therefore, we'll have limit as h approaches zero from the right. When you differentiate sine, you get cos. 
when you differentiate h with respect to h you get one so this is like limit as h approaches zero of course of h direct substitution will give us cost of zero is just zero you're just one not zero so cost of zero is one so therefore the whole limit will be one and then last example in this we have limit as x approaches zero from the right of square root of x ln of x so solution so you see clearly that when you put zero we'll have square root of zero times ln of zero square root of zero is zero times ln of zero is infinity so this zero times infinity case so we rewrite this limit as limit as x approaches zero from the right now this one we write it as ln of x over one over square root of x it is still the same function so this one will be now uh, this we have to test whether it is in con it is conforming to the case where we can apply L Hospital's rule. So it will be ln of zero over one over square root of zero. So this is infinity over infinity case. So therefore, L hostel rule can be applied because square root of z one over square root of zero is one over zero, which is infinity. Ln of zero is infinity. So we can apply L hospital rule. So we differentiate both the numerator and denominator independent of each other. This will be one over x. This will be given by, remember this can be written as x raised power negative a half. So we'll have negative a half, x raised power negative three over two. And when you simplify this one, we'll have limit as x approaches zero from positive, you'll get negative two square root of x and when you put zero we'll have negative two square root of zero just get zero so that is how we find the solution to that given problem do as many examples on the same to get used to such kind of problems thank you